Hey guys, Mr. Money1235 here again. Here to do an album review The Killers, Battleborn. I figured I hadn't done a video that gave me a whole lot of dislikes in a while, so time to get back on it. Before we get started, I don't hate this album necessarily, I just dislike it more than some of the others. Day and Age will probably always be my favorite Killers album, right next to Hot Fuss. On this album, it sounds like the band has uh, matured a little bit. It sounds like that they've grown up and are adults now. Before, the songs were a little bit more quirky and colorful and a little bit more playful. On this album, the colors that I picture in my head are a whole lot of grays and blacks. That's not to say this album's depressing or something. And it's not to say that it's an awful album. I mean, some people, some Killers fans, I'm going to tell you this right now, are going to love this thing. Some Killer fans, this is going to be like their favorite album now from them. Other Killers fans, like me, are going to enjoy their old style. Yeah, I'm going to get a little hypocritical of myself here. I like it when bands change. I like it when bands do something out of the box that nobody really expects. Owl City did a great job with it, and a whole lot of other bands have done a great job with it. And most of the times, I love the change. But this time... Yeah, I miss the old style. I, I really miss what the Killers used to do. But let's dive right into this thing. Flesh and Bone is a nice, solid opener. It's not one of my favorite songs on the album, but it's a really good song, I think, personally. It serves as a great intro to the album, along with the very first sounds that you hear of the track are very different than what you hear later on in the track. And I think it just works really well as an opening song. So, Flesh and Bone, great in my book. Runaways, obviously, is a really great song. The melody that they have in this is just sweeping. It does a great job of going from like sounding like it might be a quieter track to being a really crashing and guitar-heavy song. And I really like the lyrics on it as well. The Way It Was is a really great song. I really love the lyrics on this track as well. And I really like the melody of the song itself. That was the way it was. It sounds really good to me. Here With Me sounds like what they were working on when they wrote the way it was, but they just changed it around a little bit. Kinda. Point is, I don't really like this song. A Matter of Time is like the first song on this album that actually gets really loud with the guitars. This song is okay. I don't absolutely hate this song or anything like that. It's just not one of my favorites. It's like... Uh... Okay, I really wanted to like this album. Alright, I really wanted to like this album. And for me personally, I'm an album lover. I don't love to be picky and choosy with albums. I like to listen to albums as a complete work. I like to hear every single song and enjoy it in full. That's why something like this really annoys me. So, sorry. Matter of time, okay. I'm not loving it or anything, but I like it alright. The next song is easily my favorite on the album, Deadlines and Commitments. I absolutely love this song. It sounds very Phil Collins-ish to me. It has a little slice of 80s flavor to it. The synthesizer part that kind of just builds up and then drops back down again along with the catchy drum beat. And then Brandon's vocals come in and I really love the vocal melody. And the chorus is just so dreamy. I absolutely love the lyrics on the chorus. There is a place here in this house that you can stay. It is just so good. Oh, I love this song so much. It's definitely one of my favorite killer songs. If this album, if I'm grateful for this album for anything, it's this song. That's for sure. Miss Atomic Bomb, I just keep fading in and out. I don't think I've actually really listened to this song ever since I got the download because I can't listen to that whole song. My brain just goes off thinking about something else. I am just not interested in hearing the whole song. It sucks. It really sucks. Ugh. Part of a Girl is okay. Okay, no it's not. I don't like this song. From Here On Out is another one of my favorites on this album. Oh my god, I can picture some country star covering this song, I swear to god. I love the lyrics on it as well. Well, from here on out, friends are gonna be hard to come by. It's a really nice change of pace on the album, and I, I love the direction that it turns. It was a great little hidden gem in this big pile of... not good. <laughs> 
Be Still is a really slow song from the band, but I actually, I don't know why completely, but I really like it. It's like, it has this Napoleon Dynamite sounding uh, drum machine section, and I really like the lyrics on this song and the melody that it has. For some reason, it actually keeps me engaged. I can't really explain why, but I actually like this song. And I also like the closing track, Battleborn. It's one of the loudest moments on this album, and probably one of the best. The title track is great, and it's a great closer. In the bonus tracks, Carry Me Home is probably my favorite out of all of them. Prize Fighter, I'm like, what the fuck is this? I don't. I, I mean, I don't care about Prize Fighter that much. Same thing with the remix of Flesh and Bone. It's okay, but it's just a remix. <laughs> I mean, whatever. So as you can tell. I had my songs that I thought okay or I actually loved. There was like maybe two or three songs on here that I actually would skip every time. So I can't really say that I hate this thing. And I can't really say that it's not good even though that I've been saying that. It's okay. I mean like, I just know that later on down the road when new music comes out, like the Green Day album for example. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, The Killers? Battleborn Who? What? What? I'm not going to remember these songs a few weeks or months from now. I'm not even gonna care. Will I be buying a physical copy of this? Probably not on release day. If I wake up one day and I just see the beauty in this, then yeah, I'll pick it up. But as of right now, I'm not on the fence with it. I'm slightly more on the side of liking it. So. Don't completely hate me, I do actually kind of like this thing. It's just not my favorite. Day and Age will probably always be my favorite Killers album because the songs Losing Touch, Human, Spaceman, Joyride, those four songs right there just blow this album away. The whole album, those four songs, blow this album away. We can't forget the classics like Somebody Told Me, Mr. Brightside, and all these things that I've done. You know, like, those three songs right there blow everything on this album away. So you see what I'm trying to say? So, love it, hate it, that is your opinion. You do not have to listen to me at all. I am just telling you what I think of this thing. So, uh, let me hear your views on it, because I think this is going to be an opinion-based thing for a long time, for everybody who's listening to this thing. A lot of Killers fans are going to love this thing, and a lot of Killers fans are going to hate this thing. So there's going to be a dividing line all over the place. That's just my gut feeling. So let me know what you think. Mr. Moon, 1, 2, 3, 5. I'll see you guys later.